Hello everyone. So we are here again with another important and very typical question pertaining to uh, what is it, geometry in general and basic circles and triangles. So let's take a look at the question. Let ABC be a, tri a triangle with circumcenter alpha or with circumcircle alpha. So this is alpha, this circle itself. Let G be the centroid of the triangle. So this particular point, G is the centroid of the triangle. ABC. Extend AG, BG and CG. So this is AG. AG has been extended and BG, CG. Each and every one of them is extended to meet the circle alpha at A1. So uh, AG, this, uh, this is the tri triangle circle ABC extended to meet at A1. Again, uh, CG is extended to meet at C1 and BG is extended to meet at B1. Okay respectively suppose angle BAC so which is BAC BAC uh, th this particular angle is equal to angle A1 B1 C1 so A1 again B1 C1 okay so with uh, th this angle so here we have assumed X1 and X2 so again similarly X1 and X2 okay so hopefully uh, things are clear and uh, angle ABC uh, angle ABC is A, A, B, C is equal to A1, C1, B1. So A1, C1 and B1. Again, so ABC being this one and A1, C1 this one. So again, Y1, Y2, Y1, Y2. We have again mentioned the same. And again, uh, angle ACB. So ACB being A, C, B. So ACB is uh, this particular angle is equal to to angle B1 A1 C1 so B1 A1 C1 yeah uh, this particular angle so again Z1 Z2 and Z1 Z2 so hopefully all this uh, the questions are clear so prove that uh, triangle ABC so triangle ABC is this one and triangle uh, A1 B1 C so A1 B1 C is the outer triangle are equilateral triangles okay so now let's uh, Look how we can go about solving this particular question. So let's start off. So one thing I uh, before we start, let me just write a property here. Equal curves make makes equal. angles so we'll basically go about solving this particular question using this particular property itself so now start off given that or rather just give me a second given that angle b a C equal to angle A1, B1, C1. So therefore, since both these angles are equal, so therefore BC equal A1, C1. Similarly, equal chords with equal angle. So angle BAC, let's take a look. Angle BAC. So the chord which is basically making this angle is BC. So that should be equal to angle A1, B1, C1. So A1, C1. So therefore, with this particular property, equal chords mean equal angle. Uh, equal chords mean equal angle. We can actually uh, conclusively state the following. Similarly, similarly, we can actually write angle A B C equal to angle A one C one B one. So this we can actually conclude A C equal to A one. B1 and finally angle ACB equal to angle B1 A1 C1 so this basically concludes AB equal to B1 C1 okay hopefully all these three three points are clear now since 
ए बी सी ए वन बी वन एंड सी वन आर ऑल साइक्लिक therefore we have angle x2 equal to angle y2 and angle y2 equal to angle z2 and also this would further give us angle x2 equal to angle z2 so here what we can say angle x2 equal to angle y2 so this is x2 so that angle will be equal to angle y2 okay so these two angles are equal similarly since there is uh, all the cyclic properties are uh, basically come into play in this particular form now let's go ahead and similarly angle y2 so this is y2 would equal, would be equal to angle z2 so hopefully all things are clear and subsequently we can actually deduce uh, this so next up we can actually write now in triangle bgc so bgc is b centroid g and c is the triangle that bgc we have just let me highlight this in the figure itself triangle so b g and c so basically uh, the lower the, this particular triangle so b g and c this particular triangle so what we have here in triangle b g c we have x1 plus x2 Okay, so my bad. Just give me a second. In triangle BGC, we have angle BGC equal to 180 minus Y1 plus Z1. Okay, so. This particular angle is what we are talking about. BGC. Uh, this particular angle we are talking about. So 180 minus Y1 and Z2. Sorry, Z2. My bad. It should be Z2. This particular one. Y1 and Z2. Okay. Again. in triangle abc so let me just mark this as one we have abc means uh, the bigger triangle x1 plus x2 plus y1 plus y2 plus z1 plus z2 equal to 180 degrees so this we can again for the right as angle y1 plus z2 angle y1 plus angle z2 would be equal to 180 degree one eighty degree minus x1 Plus x2 plus y2 plus z1. Okay. So angle uh, y1 plus z2. So y1 plus z2 would be. Okay. So <coughs> so y1 plus z2. So now if I'm uh, let me take up uh, 180. Let me just bring it here. And let me take uh, plus 
y1 plus z2 equal to minus x1 plus x2 plus y2 plus z1 so if i take uh, if i cancel out both the minuses so if i multiply it the entire thing by minus so what i have here is that y1 plus z2 okay so my bad just give me a second so okay and let me multiply the entire thing by minus so it will be plus 180 minus common y1 plus z2 equal to x1 plus x2 plus y2 plus z1 so this will give me so from uh, this particular from uh, number one we can actually conclude that this is angle bcg angle b c g equal to x1 plus x2 plus y2 plus z1 okay so this is something that we can conclude from there again we have again we have x2 equal to y2 so what is x2 equal to x2 and y2 let me just highlight the same x2 and y2 so we'll only this particular angle so why are they equal they are basically alternate angles angles so now subsequently again we have AG is radical axis and AC is tangent to circumcircle of triangle A G B. Similarly, so A G is the radical axis. So this is the radical axis and A C. So uh, that is A C is the tangent to the circumcircle. Circumcircle of triangle A G B. So A GB. So hopefully these points are clear. Similarly, AB is tangent to circumcircle circumcircle of triangle ABC. So what we can conclude from here is x1 equal to z1 so therefore angle bgc would be simply put x1 plus x2 plus y2 plus z1 or uh, plus z1 so here we can actually uh, write, basically write oh, sorry, my bad. this can be further written as x1 for x2 x2 remains the same so y2 was we initially found out equal to x2 so x2 and z1 is equal to x1 so again x1 so basically 2 x1 plus x2 so we can conclude that so therefore g is the circumcenter
Okay, uh, just, just one thing. This can be further actually elaborated upon by angle PGC. So, X1 plus X2. So, this is X1 plus X2. So, this will be twice of angle A. Okay, you can see uh, this is X1 of X2. This entire angle. This is twice of angle A. So, angle BGC. So, um, in basically as far as centroid is concerned, we have a property that states, suppose we have a centroid over here, this particular angle is always twice the uh, measure of the above angle itself. So, that particular property is being satisfied. So, therefore, we can actually conclude that G is circumcenter. Circumcenter of triangle ABC. This can be further elaborated, and since and since G is also the centroid. Therefore, triangle ABC is an equilateral triangle. Triangle and therefore, triangle A1, B1, C1 is an equilateral triangle. So therefore proved. So hopefully this entire process of solving this particular sum was clear to you. So um, let me just give you one more thing and briefly how this particular diagram would actually look like. So suppose just give me a second. This will give you a better idea. Suppose uh, this is the first figure. The diagram and subsequently this is the another one figure this is the second circle okay so let me just mark out all the points okay so this is my line here this is again heading there it will go here somewhere here and this one so how would this circle basically look like? Is the actual figure is something on this those lines. So A, B, C. This is both this angles X1, X2. This will be Y1, Y2. If we are to basically take this particular so uh, this particular point is basically circumcircle in tangent this is how this particular point would basically look like is explained in this diagram itself so hopefully things are clear to you so with that said uh, i'll uh, urge you to go through this particular sum for a couple of more times and just try to practice it on your own you will actually uh, make sure you use this particular diagram itself to get a better understanding of the same so that you can get better insights on how we have gone about solving this particular question in general so in the next session, we'll be coming up with another few questions pertaining to the usage of the same or the techniques required to solving a particular question of this sort. So until then, I'm signing up. Thank you so much.